It's a common problem that plasma televisions they go out and stop working. And today I'm going to show you the most common problem with them, and that is the power supply. So these two particular capacitors, they are the culprit. They are the ones that have overheated. Oftentimes, one of the symptoms that you'll see is that the the top of the capacitor head is slightly swollen. It's very you can't see it on this one, but with experience I came to know that this is the one I have to replace. And I have already ordered some and I got these capacitors from eBay. Cost me like five dollars. And I just want to make sure that the ratings match and actually in the the ones I buy have a slightly higher rating. 10 volts, this is 16 volts, just to make sure that they don't go out anymore. And I don't have to worry about taking the television apart. And plus I'll have some extras for other televisions if I need to fix them. The best way to get them out is to use soldering iron, use a suction device like this. So, heat the solder and activate. It. What happens is it just sucks it right out. Now I have two open holes which will enable me to replace the new capacitor inside. Here it is. It just fell out. There you go. One important thing is I need to make sure the polarity is correct. Polarity, the white color has to match with the strip. This guy. Slide these two in. I'll just bend this like that, just temporarily. Heat these two. I've been using this for like 20 years, 15 years, I don't know, it served me well. There you go. Push the one in. Repairing the television's equipment has come to me as a hobby. Ever since I was a kid, I would take apart everything I had my hands on and learn how it works. I'm gonna heat this up, heat the lead up, not the solder. When the lead is hot, then apply the solder. And it has to be wetted properly so there would not be any cold solder joints. Heat the lead, then apply solder. There you go. Love my dental scissors. One, two, three, and done. The board is ready to go. To go back in. Let's see what the screen says. works. Well, there you go. This was supposed to be tossed to the dumpster and I'm glad I was able to rescue it. I think it's gonna have uh, at least five more years of use. Guys, if you like this video, if you learned something, um, please click like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know. Once again, most common problem with these plasma televisions is power supply capacitors, overheating, expanding, and over drying, therefore not working properly and you will not be able to turn on your television. Have a great day. This was Alexei Kozlov, your future dentist.